In this video, we're going to talk about subtracting integers. Subtracting integers is very similar to adding integers, but with one additional step. So, we're still in Unit 1, and we're coloring purple for Unit 1. Alright, here we go. If you can add integers, you can subtract them too. To subtract integer, integers, we just change the subtraction problem to an addition problem and use the addition rules. To, uh, to change a subtraction problem to an addition problem, we do the following steps. The first integer stays the same, keep. We change the subtraction sign to an addition sign, change. And we take the opposite of the second integer. So the three things you need to remember, keep, change, opposite. So keep the first integer, change the sign, take the opposite of the second integer. And we can abbreviate that, keep, change, opposite, or KCO, keep, change, opposite. So the first problem, we have 13 minus 6. So we keep the 13, we change the subtraction to an addition, and we take the opposite of the 6. So that is the related addition problem. So again, we keep the 13, we change the minus to a plus, and we take the opposite of 6, which is negative 6. We can draw the picture. Okay, so we have 13 plus negative 6, so 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 open colored counters, 6 shaded in, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we can cancel our zero pairs, oops, excuse me, cancel the zero pairs, so we have a pair there that cancel, we have a pair here that cancel, we have a pair here that cancel, we have a pair here that cancel, a pair here that cancel, a pair here that cancel, and then we look at what we have left that didn't cancel out. And if we count those, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have seven that are not shaded in, so that's final answer, seven. So this should be a review of the two color counter method for you as well. All right, next one, we have 16 minus 18. So we keep the first number, the first integer, we change the sign and we take the opposite, we change the sign and we take the opposite of the second integer, so keep, change, opposite. So keeping the 16 is 16, changing the minus to a plus, and the opposite of 18 is negative 18. Alright, for this one we're going to use the integer rule. So the integral rule says if the signs are opposite, we subtract, so we have opposite signs. So we're going to subtract. We take the bigger number, the 18, minus 16, and we get 2. So we know that our answer has to have a 2 in it. And then we have to decide if it's going to be positive or negative, and we can do that by comparing absolute values. So we compare the absolute value of 16 to the absolute value of negative 18. And we look for the bigger one. So the bigger one, bigger absolute value is a positive 18. So that's the larger absolute value right there. Since the 18 was negative, R2 gets a negative sign. All right, third example. Again, we keep that first integer, 
we change the sign and we take the opposite of the second integer. So keep change opposite. All right, so we keep the 23. We change the minus to a plus, and we take the opposite of negative 7, which in this case is a positive 7, and we don't have to write plus, we can just write the 7. For this example, we're going to show the number line. So on the number line, the first thing we need to do is put the number 23, since that's the first integer. We're adding 7 to it, so we're going to go to the right 7 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's our ending spot. So that's 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So we ended at 30. And we can fill in the other numbers if you want to. There's 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. They're kind of small. So our final answer is... 30. Alright, last example for today. We have negative 6 minus 19. Again, it's keep, change, opposite. So we keep the first one, negative 6. We change the minus sign to a plus sign, and we take the opposite of negative 19, which is a positive 19. And for this one, we're going to use the integer rule. So our integer rule says we compare the signs. The signs are, again, opposite. So when the signs are opposite, we subtract the two numbers. We take the bigger one, which is 19, and we subtract 6 from it. 19 minus 6 gives us 13. So we know our answer has to have a 13 in it. And then we have to decide if it's positive or negative. And again, we do that by comparing absolute values. So we compare the absolute value of negative 6 to the absolute value of 19. Absolute value of negative 6 is 6. Absolute value of 19 is 19. And we look for the larger one. And in this case, the larger absolute value is 19. 19 is larger than 6. So our 13 is a positive 13, so we don't have to add a negative sign in. All right, that's all for today. Hopefully that helps you understand how to subtract integers. I'll see you in class tomorrow. Have a good night.